I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. It says, what is Jude trying to teach us in Jude chapter 1, verses 8 and 9? Thank you. You're welcome. Now, in Jude chapter 8 and 9, this really comes on the backside of a whole list of illustrations that the Lord is using through the person of Jude to teach us about what true faith is. Back in verse 3 and 4, it says there are certain men who've crept in unawares, uh, even denying the Lord Jesus. It talks about those that acted out in Sodom and Gomorrah. It talks about the angels who fell. And in verse 8 and 9, it says these are those that despise dignitaries. And then in verse 9, it talks about the archangel Michael who disputed uh, with Satan about the body of Moses. Now, let's talk about this verse and then look at the main question of what does this teach us today? Deuteronomy chapter 34, Moses dies on the wrong side of the promised land. His lack of faith, remember, he hit the rock the second time when God told him to speak to it. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 34 that no man knew where he was buried. However, this verse in Jude 9, which by the way, many people will point to a extra canonical book known as the Assumption of Moses to give more color commentary, but we're just going to stick with the Bible. Here in Jude 9, it says Michael the archangel goes to get the body. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would God want the body? Well, in Matthew chapter 17, who shows up with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration? Elijah and Moses. Who shows up with Jesus? In Revelation chapter 11, these famous two witnesses. It talks about parting the sea. Sounds a whole lot like Moses. So God wants the body. He sends his biggest, baddest, strongest angel by the name of Michael to get it. Who shows up? Satan. You think Satan actually wants the Lord to have the body of Moses? Of course not. So we basically have this angelic battle taking place right there on the east side of the Jordan River, quote Deuteronomy 34. Here's what happens in verse 9. It says, Michael said, the Lord rebuke you. The reason I think this verse is important to you and I today, if Michael the archangel recognized that he did not have the power, the authority, or the wherewithal to fight the devil face to face, then who are you and I to think that we have the ability to take on the enemy forthright? If Michael called on the Lord to fight the battle, then so should we. I think the importance of these verses in Jude verse 1, 8, and 9 is to teach us that when the enemy comes at us, yes, we wear the spiritual armor, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, etc. But when we know that we're when we're in the ring with the devil himself, not to trust our own abilities, even our own instincts. That's when we hit our knees and say, the Lord rebuke you. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.